Yo, what's going on guys, Tanmay here for Simple Snippets and welcome back to another video tutorial on computer graphics and in this video, we're gonna take a detailed comparison between DDA line drawing algorithm and Bresenham line drawing algorithm and we're gonna visually see how the Bresenham line drawing algorithm is better compared to DDA when it comes to the speed and accuracy of the line being drawn and we're gonna take a same example and plot the line for the same set of coordinates using both DDA as well as Bresenham line drawing algorithm so that you can visually see the difference on screen, okay? Now before we start plotting these points, I'm assuming you guys already know what is DDA line drawing algorithm, what is Bresenham line drawing algorithm. If not, the previous four videos in this playlist of computer graphics, we covered in depth both these topics, both the theory and practical side. So we understood the theory, the working, and we also wrote C++ programs to implement these two algorithms. So if you've missed that, please do check it out. Over here, we are just comparing the two with the assumption that we already know both these individual algorithms. All right, so I've laid out the comparison table over here and if you're making notes, you can just screenshot this or take notes of it. You can be asked this question that make a detailed comparison between DDA versus Bresenham line drawing algorithm and how Bresenham is better than DDA. And you can note down these points, you can put this entire thing into a tabular format as a theoretical answer and you can also give a comparison example. So that's why I've laid it out like this. So let's quickly go through all these points and then we will jump on solving this question and seeing visually how the differences look on the screen. So the first point is for the type. Now both these algorithms are incremental algorithms and DDA is based on floating point arithmetic whereas Bresenham is based on integer arithmetic. Coming to the next point of calculations, DDA requires floating point calculations, right? Multiplication, division and rounding off. But in Bresenham, only simple integer calculations are required, addition, subtraction and bit shift. When it comes to accuracy, DDA is less accurate due to rounding errors. And that is what we are going to actually demonstrate. So we'll come to this. When it comes to Bresenham, since there is no floating point calculations, it is more accurate and closely follows the true line of path. Okay, so we'll also see this. When it comes to speed, DDA is slower because of floating point operations which are costlier and Bresenham is faster. Although if you're watching this video in 2025, processing power has significantly improved over the years. These algorithms were developed in the 1960s when processing power was a luxury. So obviously speed is not going to be a big issue, but accuracy is definitely going to be a concern. Now what about intermediate points? So sometimes DDA produces missing or duplicate points because of the rounding errors. Bresenham generally produces precise and consistent pixel points. Talking about slope handling, DDA works for all slopes but errors increase with steep or shallow slopes and Bresenham generally handles all slopes pretty much robustly depending upon whether you code for those individual cases or not. For the memory management, of course, floating point values require more memory and Bresenham requires very little memory. Also again, in today's time, memory is not a big problem. In 1960s, it definitely was. So for practical use, DDA is good for teaching and understanding line generation. Hence DDA is taught as the very first line drawing algorithm generally. That's what we did as well. And Bresenham is widely used in computer graphics. So it's actually practically implemented in modern day computer graphics. And these are the different different points and comparison table. Now coming to the main part, which is let's actually visually see how DDA and Bresenham will differ for the same set of points. So this is X1, Y1 and this is x2, y2. Now what we'll do is we will jump to our coding part where we will run the code pre-written for DDN and Bresenham. I'm just gonna run the code which we have already written in the previous tutorials rather than typing it out because otherwise we'll waste the time. So when we will run the DDA code, we will get the input where we will input 1 and 1 and 19 and 11 and we will also input the same values for Bresenham and then we will get the set of points and then we will plot them over here on the digital screen, okay? So let's jump to the coding part first. Okay, so as you can see, I have two windows open. This is the second window. This is the first window. So this first one is for DDA and I've already written the code for DDA which we had written in our DDA video tutorial. And as you can see, I've already written the entire code. This is the same code that we had done in the DDA implementation part. So I'm simply gonna run this and we will get the output over here. However, before I do that, if you just come to the code in the implementation side, you can see when you are outputting the intermediate X and Y coordinates, we have a function called round function. Now this is that round function that adds extra bit of processing utilization because these X and Y values 
are basically floating point variables, right? You can see we've created float X and float Y, and we've also done the increment in floating point calculations, right? So the calculations and increments are generally having a floating point and they all creep in over here. So if we don't round them off, that is when the problem starts. So if I were to actually just pass this as an integer, that is when the problem will start and that is when this DD algorithm is less accurate compared to Bresenham. If I do the rounding off over here, then the output which is given by DDA is, is going to be pretty much exactly same as Bresenham. But to demonstrate the difference and to demonstrate the real issue of DDA, we are just going to print the integer part and truncate the fractional part. Truncate means eliminate or not consider the fractional part in the intermediate points. Okay. So I'm just going to write int over here and int over here. So even though this is a float variable, when it will print, it will print only the integer part. Okay. So this is one difference that I'm making in our existing code. And when I run this, let's enter the starting point as one and one and our ending point was 19 and 11. Okay. Let's see what points we get. There you go, guys. We've got our points. You guys can take a screenshot of this. I'll obviously take these same points on the screen. And now let's go to the digital blackboard and plot these points. Okay. So as you can see, these are the same points that we got from the output of our DDA program. You can verify it by going back. Okay. So let's start plotting these points onto our computer screen over here. And when we plot them, this is the output that we get. There you go, guys. So if you can see, this is one comma one. This is the first point. This is the second point. This is the third. So all these points are accounted for over here. And this is basically our line. If you notice the last point 19 comma 10 is not the last point that we wanted, right? If you see, this is the last point 19 comma 11. However, the last point over here we've got is 19 comma 10. That is because we've not written the program incorrectly. It is the rounding of error that is happening over here. And actually the DDA line, this is how the DDA line would actually look like. So the pixels, you can see some of the pixels are not exactly on the same path as this line. So this is the starting point and this is the ending point. So this is the last point that we actually wanted to light up, but this got missed completely because of the rounding error, right? So this pixel should be over here. Similarly, this pixel is way off and it is not on the path of the line. Even this pixel is not on the path. Even this one, even this one is pretty much off. Look at this one. So you can see that the pixels are plotted a little bit off compared to the actual line of path. Now this is happening because of that rounding of error. And this is where the accuracy is taking a hit when it comes to DD algorithm. Now let's actually run this code for Bresenham and see the same line and plot the same points and see if the points are same or they are more accurate compared to DDA. So coming back to our coding part, I will open up the next window. So this is the window for Bresenham line drawing algorithm. And again, I've already typed in the code. You can see the two cases that we implemented in the Bresenham line drawing algorithm implementation part. These are the two cases where slope was less than equal to one or greater than one. So it's the same code and we will run it as it is and give it the same inputs as one comma one and 19 comma 11. Okay. All right. There you go, guys. We've got set of points, take a screenshot if you want, take a note of these points if you want, and we'll jump to the digital blackboard where we plot these same points. So over here, these are the points that we got from the program output for Bresenham. You guys can go back and check these same points. These are the same points. And if you plot them on this screen, this is how the line would look like. And if you notice the last point 19,11 is exactly the same that we want. Even the starting point is the same. And if you were to draw a line, you can see most of the pixels are pretty much exactly on the same path as that of the line, right? So the line pretty much crosses or cuts each pixel somewhere or the other. So it is in contact with each pixel compared to what we were over here with the DD algorithm where some of the pixels were going off the path of the line, right? So the ones that are different, I have marked in green. So you can see this pixel is a little bit off over here. So the second pixel is over here rather than on the path. Similarly, if you observe this pixel, and you can see this pixel is going above. Then we also have this one. And then this one is the different pixel. So you can see the green pixels are the correct pixels and they are much more closer to the actual path of the line, right? So even though the input of X1, Y1 is the same, 
the output that we are getting is more accurate when it comes to Bresenamp. Now do understand that this is happening only because in the DDA algorithm, in the DDA code, we did not do the rounding off and we simply printed the integer part of the intermediate points. When you round them off, you pretty much get exactly the same as Bresenamp, but but that is at the cost of speed and calculations, right? When you're calculating the floating points and rounding them off, that's an extra processing effort that is being taken by the algorithm to compute the same points which can be done using simple arithmetics without the floating point in Bresenamp. So this was a demonstration of how Bresenamp line drawing algorithm is better than DD algorithm and how visually for the same set of inputs you can get different output depending upon which algorithm you use. Okay, so this was a short video where I just wanted to demonstrate this difference and also a little bit of comparison with theory. I hope you are now very clear about both these algorithms, the principle and also their practical side. And now the comparison must be very clear as well. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video over here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do share it with your friends. This is an important comparison to understand why Bresenam is better than DDA and how it is better. Definitely subscribe if you're new on this channel. Check out this channel. We have 600 plus tutorials on computer science and information technology, different different subjects like programming, network security, data structures, web designing, C++, Java, JavaScript, etc, etc. We have everything on this channel and I'm pretty sure you'll find a lot of value. Do turn on the notifications for the upcoming video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.